All right, so I'm here to talk about AVID. Um, here at San Ramon, we have two AVID classes. We have a 9-10 combination taught by Ms. Harper, and we have an 11th grade taught by Mrs. Ramos, and they're both doing an excellent job. We were lucky enough to hang out together at the Summer Institute session in San Diego to learn about the strategies and the overall objective behind AVID for the students, staff, and um, parents because it's a it's a program that involves everybody. It's a program that gets students to the next level in terms of academic success, organization, and social skills. I know they just took a field trip to St. Mary's last week and got the got the excitement really going. Um, they do tutorologies twice a week. I knew uh, they have big whiteboards now so they can have tutorology sessions, which is a chance for the students to learn collaboratively. So we actually have someone in the studio right now. His name is Jackson. He's applied to San Diego State, ASU, and Cal State Northridge, who happens to be a tutor in one of those tutorologies that takes place twice a week. And what he does, actually I'm going to call Jackson up right now, Jackson. He helps facilitate collaboration and um, within the students. And Jackson is going to tell us a little bit about tutorologies. So our tutoring sessions in AVID are different from what normal tutorials are like. Normal tutors are one-on-one -on -one, uh, teaching you how to get there and what the answer may or may not be. In our uh, tutorial sessions, we have about five students with a tutor or a teacher, and we all ask guiding questions uh, to help the student understand the method of how to solve the problem and then eventually solve it. And then uh, we start with a point of confusion, which is what the student is confused about. Uh, afterwards, they start doing the work and writing it on the board, showing the steps, and once they finally reach uh, the solution of the problem, they write down the steps of how they got there so that all the students in the group can understand how the problem is done. And what I think, Jackson, what I think the great point is, is staff, you don't have to be in an avid classroom to use these strategies. These strategies are just effective teaching techniques, and we're always looking for great avid tutors because some of the groups are working independently that have a tutor to guide them, but then some of them are working independently without a tutor, and that makes it difficult for Ms. Harper and Ms. Ramos to, to kind of facilitate those type of learning discussions and opportunities. So staff, keep your, keep your eye and ear out for effective tutors who you think would be effective in the classroom to help our AVID program out, and we're looking forward to a great second semester with not only our AVID students and parents, but staff as well. What AVID means to me is that students are having like an extra kind of support at school every day um, to help them with organization and help them with study skills. And it's just a way to help the kids that are capable of being successful but maybe need that little extra push or extra support to get them there. And the goal is for all of these kids to be eligible for a four-year college. And the other thing that we do that's really important to me is Appreciation Friday. So every Friday the kids have to go around the room and say one thing or person that they really appreciate and why. Um, and it's just a really nice way to end the week and to build community in our classes. AVID is one big family and we all help each other to solve our problems and our questions. And we always look out for each other. It's really big kind of like a support system almost and it really helps especially during school when it can get super stressful and we can get a lot of tests and homework we're always there to support each other. What AVID means to me is setting goals, working for them, and reaching them. AVID helps you realize that no one can work for your goals except yourself and when you reach your goals the reward is worth it. To me AVID isn't just about getting into a four-year college. AVID is about making us into better human beings. Ms. Ramos is teaching us to be grateful for what we have and to appreciate what others do for us. So as a teacher, I feel like the techniques in AVID are just good teaching practices. Coming from a coaching background, AVID to me reminds me of what academic coaching would look like. And then I put Adams right here. Yes, sir. Let's do costumes, right? And I put moles right here, and that represents moles. Being an AVID, we are able to go to the College and Career Center often to learn about colleges and get our, a greater understanding of what our lives could be like after high school. To me, AVID means success, not only in school, but in life. A big part of success is organization and visualization. AVID has taught me all of these skills.
organization. That's what Avid teaches you. So I have this Avid binder and it helps me keep track of everything. Especially with all my homework because I know where, uh, where it all is no matter what. Yeah, okay, here's my math section. Want me to look at my notes? Here's my notebook. Want to look at worksheets? Here's past worksheets. So this is a TRF. TRF stands for Tutorial Request Form. Um, mainly, Avid uses it to, for students to better understand uh, confusing concepts that they've like, you know, gotten in their classes. And also, we write what we know and what techniques we can use uh, to solve our problem. Outside of binder checks, tutorials, binder checks, and goal planning, I feel like I am their school mom. Avid is a means of academic support for students looking to do better and get into education in college. It honestly helps make me believe that I have an advantage over the majority of students here. Avid helps me achieve my academic goals as well as gain a better understanding about the world. I get to guide them through high school experiences on the academic, social, and personal level. It's a class I look forward to every day.